Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on phonetics. Today we are going to discuss the classification of consonants. Classification and description of consonant sounds in English. English like consonant sounds in the different classification on the discussion of this kind Actually vowel sounds and consonant sounds okay. Pala types I to divide it into based on the involvement of the vocal organs or articulators articulators are lingual vocal organs organs of speech in the involvement and series e vowels and consonant and they didn't pala types i to divide it okay so and we'll be beginning with the classification of consonants consonant in the which turn out and we'll discuss the vowel later and we know that consonants are speech sounds in the articulation of which there is an obstruction or narrowing of a passage in the mouth actually consonants produce in the summit mouth load air pass but there is a restriction or obstruction or the dasam of the word and the the vocal organs are in the moving out of the movement garden of the blockage a lingual or partial blockage or restriction where another one did I'm gonna end in the consonant sounds produce in them okay so in the case of vowels there is no obstruction or narrowing actually in the case of vowel air passes through the mouth freely and continuously without any audible friction but this is the difference between vowels and consonants we really learn consonant sounds and vowel sounds and produce in okay so consonant the case there is an obstruction or narrowing of air passage in the mouth the uh, are the learn consonant sound months like that okay so let's begin with the classification of consonants we know that there are 44 sounds and 24 consonants in English English le 24 consonants on another area and English consonants are classified according to three criteria. Moon criteria which it on a consonants classify chaitlade. And the first one is place or point of articulation. A the place along the point is articulated in the answer channel. Place or point of articulation. This is the first criterion. And second criterion is manner of articulation. In which manner the sound is articulated. Either manner, either reedy learn articulate chayya padanda the under la learn manner of articulation onu gunde deshkena. Okay. And the third one is state of glottis. Glottis in the state. That is the glottis. We know that glottis is the space between vocal cords. Vocal cords in the ida illa space in ana glottis onu varena. Okay. Apo glottis in the situation ana siriche. It were classified chain and okay. These are the three criteria in which consonants are classified. A moon criteria and search channel consonants classify chain the first one place or point of articulation, second one manner of articulation, and third one is state of glottis. And we'll be discussing each criteria according to each criteria which are the classification. Or criteria and search either classification on the other one, I will discuss in there okay so let's move on to the first criteria so based on the place or point of articulation consonants are classified into different categories different categories are to teach it in based on place or point of articulation in which the first one is bilabial actually bilabial in the world now the tenements low by means two on the other one and labial labial related to lips and okay by labial using two lips on the screen okay so they are articulated by the two lips econ is sound articulate time of the involved title the two lips on it two lips means upper lip and lower lip okay so other brands in the comments low for example these are the bilabial consonants in english p b m and u okay these are the bilabial consonant these four are the bilabial consonant using two lips either brands say the comments low p okay two lips are involved other will b two lips okay m and p the brands in the summit the p b m p okay he's a method can learn a our two lips that is upper lip and lower lip came together okay our random could ever no and touch a no hang on and then hear sound producing so based on the place or point of articulation other or to a place or point a the point a the skeleton in the our category and whatever in the okay so the first category is by labial using two lips by labial consonants okay b b 
M and V are the bilabial consonants in English. Okay. So in the case of bilabial consonant, our lower lip is the active articulator. Active articulator on a move in the so lower lip on our active articulator and upper lip remains passive. Okay. For passive articulator right upper lip. Um. Active articulate right to the lower lip and lower lip more like on a Okay, and you can pronounce it and you can understand the movement. P, B, M, and V. Okay, consonant in the case lower lip on a poem active right to the upper lip passive one. Okay, so the next category based on the place of point of articulation is. Labio dental. Labio dental is the second category. I do another. Labio dental consonants. Okay, but labio means lip and means like and dental means teeth. Okay, so labio dental related to teeth and lip. Okay, teeth lip combination. And actually, they are articulated by the lower lip against the upper teeth. Lower lip, upper teeth. Mugalle teeth like po na movement ani vada vera nado. Okay, so for example, these are the sounds f and v okay if you pronounce the sound means low f v a pronounce in the summit okay lower lip mugalla pallinde angotana move in okay f v almost out of touch in and f v f v so this combination is called labio dental that is they are articulated by the lower lip moving against the upper teeth okay for thyla lip Palinda not upper teeth like on a pona a movement a so it is called labio dental consent our place alone a random meet in the place alone and then your sound producing sounds produce and that is why it is called labio dental consonants okay for next category of consonant is labio dental consonants and these are the examples f and v so the next category is Dental consonants, dental are related to teeth, and they are articulated by the tip of the tongue against the upper teeth. Not the lower lip, I know, but the tip of the tongue, are that is moving against the upper teeth. Not the part, no, but upper teeth like, but the movement, do you know? Tongue, are tongue, and the tip, are the tip of the tongue is moving against upper. Teeth. Okay, if you pronounce these sounds, you can understand that the other kind of sound. These are the sound f and v. F and v are the sound. F. F. In the word, some tongue tip of the tongue is moving against upper teeth. Other word than that, v in the sound as in thing, thing. Okay, thank. In the word, other word, this, that, those. In the word, an example of word, f and the okay or a sound do you already participate on it and the friends in the summit you can feel the movement a moment means like place or point of articulation and third category is dental consonant is a method tip of the tongue is moving against upper teeth okay and this is dental consonant these are the examples these two are the examples so the next category of consonants are alveolar consonants alveolar consonants are the fourth category i do another alveolar you know that alveolar ridge alveolum ennokke parnal teeth ridge nanu parayne teeth ridge adhaithu pallinde nere back back bag front teeth inde nere back la bagathina teeth ridge nu parayne okay so alveolar ridge ennum parayne so they are articulated by the tip of the tongue or blade of the tongue against the teeth ridge adhaithu tip of the tongue tongue inde attam allengil adinde nere back illulla blade of the tongue moving against the teeth ridge ee blade of the tongue or allengil tip of the tongue or teeth ridge inde angotekkana move cheyyane so the movement is from tip of the tongue or blade of the tongue to teeth ridge teeth ridge like tip of the tongue and blade of the tongue move cheyyana aa oru context la undavuna sounds aanu alveolar consonants aayittu parayunnu okay for example you can understand t d l n s and z okay t d l n 
s and z okay if you pronounce these sounds you can understand the movement and the feel the man slow as a method on tip of the tongue or blade of the tongue is moving against teeth rich t t d parnu kondu cheyidu okka madhi okay t d l n s z okay teeth ridge nu parayam pallinte nere back il bhagam angotey kaanu endu enna tip of the tongue or blade of the tongue is moving okay so the movement is from this position to blade of the tongue from or, or tip of the tongue to alveolar ridge or teeth ridge angotey kaanu movement varunu so this is called alveolar consonants okay so t d l n s z are the alveolar consonants in english so the next category is post alveolar consonants post alveolar okay post you know after another meaning on a post alveolar alveolar ne shesham okay they are articulated with the tip of the tongue held close to the back of the teeth ridge okay that is they are articulated with the tip of the tongue tip of the tongue held very close to the back of the teeth ridge teeth ridge in the back bagathekana endu enna tip of the tongue move eno okay and that held very close avade close aayittu nikkunna ullu endil there is no contact avade contact varunnilla avade just close aayittu അങ്ങോട്ട് മൂവ്മെൻ്റ് വരുന്നേ ഉള്ളൂ ഓക്കെ സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് പോസ്റ്റ് ആൽവ്യൂലർ ദർ ഈസ് ഓൺലി വൺ സൗണ്ട് ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് റ് റ് എന്നുള്ള സൗണ്ടാണ് പോസ്റ്റ് ആൽവ്യൂലർ കോൺസിഡൻസിൻ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ളത് ആക്ച്വലി പോസ്റ്റ് ആൽവ്യൂലർ ദർ ഈസ് ദി മൂവ്മെൻ്റ് ഫ്രം ദി ടിപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദി ടങ് അഗെൻസ്റ്റ് ദി ബാക്ക് ഓഫ് ദി ടീ ത്രിജ് ടീ ത്രിജിൻ്റെ ബാക്കിലേക്ക് പോകുന്നു ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഹെൽഡ് വെരി ക്ലോസ് ആൻഡ് ദർ ഈസ് നോ കോണ്ടാക്റ്റ് അത് മനസ്സിലാക്കുക വളരെ ക്ലോസ് ആയിട്ട് അങ്ങോട്ട് എത്തുന്നേ ഉള്ളൂ പക്ഷെ എന്തായില്ല ദർ ഈസ് നോ കോണ്ടാക്ട് കോണ്ടാക്ട് വരുന്നില്ല ഓക്കെ ഇഫ് യു പ്രൊണൗൺസ് ദി സൗണ്ട് യു ക്യാൻ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് റ് റ് ആസ് ഇൻ റിങ് റൈറ്റ് ഇനീഷ്യലി ആണ് റ് പ്രൺസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ടുവാർഡ്സ് ദി എൻഡ് റ് ഈസ് സൈലൻറ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ സൗണ്ട് റ് ആസ് ഇൻ റിങ് റൈറ്റ് right okay so this is the example of post alveolar alveolar inde shesham verna bhagathekana tip of the tongue move cheyna adana endana back of the teeth ridge alveolar means teeth ridge aan teeth ridge inde shesham verna bhagam adilekana movement varunadu ennalladu manasilakka okay so it is post alveolar consonant in english so the next category is palato alveolar consonants palato alveolar palate ഹാർഡ് പലറ്റ് സോഫ്റ്റ് പലറ്റ് ഒക്കെ പറയുന്നുണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ആൽവ്യൂലാർ അതിൻ്റെ കൂടെ തന്നെ ആൽവ്യൂലാർ ടീത്ത് റിജിൻ്റെ അങ്ങോട്ടും മൂവ്മെൻ്റ് ഉണ്ട് ഓക്കെ സോ ദ ആർ ആർട്ടിക്കുലേറ്റ് വിത്ത് ദ ടിപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ദ ബ്ലേഡ് ഓഫ് ദി ടങ് അഗെൻസ്റ്റ് ദ ടീത്ത് റിച്ച് വിത്ത് റൈസിങ് ദ ഫ്രണ്ട് ഓഫ് ദി ടങ് ടുവാർഡ്സ് ദി പലറ്റ് ഓക്കെ ഈ രീതിയിലാണ് ഈ സൗണ്ട് പ്രൊണൗൺസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ദ ആർ ആർട്ടിക്കുലേറ്റ് വിത്ത് ദ ടിപ്പ് and blade of the tongue against teeth ridge nerthe parna pole alveolar consonants inde pole thanne endu yennunde tip and blade of the tongue endu yennunde alveolar ridge like alle teeth ridge like povunu adinde koode thanne with rising of the front of the tongue with rising of the front of the tongue towards the palate towards the hard palate adayade front of the tongue adaye blade of the tongue inde nere back il varuna bhagana front of the tongue front of the tongue endu yennunde rising towards the hard palate adinde nere mogalla front of tongue the tongue inde nere mogalla bhagana hard palate okay so front of the tongue is moving against hard palate adinde kooda thanne endu yennu tip and blade of the tongue is moving against three teeth ridge okay ee situation la endu yennu palato alveolar consonants are pronounced palato alveolar appo hard palate like movement und adu pole thane teeth ridge or alveolar ridge like movement varunnund so this is how palato alveolar consonants are pronounced okay so these are the palato alveolar consonants in english ch j sh and j ch j sh and j are the palato alveolar consonants in english ch as in church j as in judge sh as in ship okay adu pole j as in pleasure vision etc okay the end examples are already padichittulladana so these are the palato alveolar consonants in english appo aa samayathu undavuna movement manasilaakkan tongue inde tip um blade um endu yennundu alveolar ridge lekum adinu adinde kooda thanne front of the tongue hard palate lekum move cheyyunnundu okay if you pronounce the sound you can understand the movement ch j sh 
and j okay these are the palato alveolar consonants in english so the next category or the seventh category is palatal consonant palate heart palate movement so they are articulated by raising the front of the tongue towards the heart palate that is front of the tongue is raising towards the heart palate front of the tongue Heart palatal ek matra move in the asamet produce in the sound on palatal in the varin. Okay, front of the tongue is moving against heart palate. Front of the tongue in the nera mugalala roof of the mouth la bagana heart palate. Okay, pang out a movement where in the samet produce in the palatal sound. For example, the sound y y in the la sound on the palatal sound i to palatal consonant i to wear okay y the front of the tongue is moving against hard palate. Hard palate like on the front of the tongue move in there. You can feel it when you pronounce y. y. Okay. This is the palatal consonant in English. And the next category is velar consonant. Velar consonants. Okay. So velar. Velar means related to velum. But it's in the wheelum in the vernal soft palate in a wheelum in the vernal. Okay, so they are articulated by raising the back of the tongue towards the soft palate. Okay, they are the back of the tongue and the front in front of the tongue in the nera back of the tongue. Okay, back of the tongue other than the nera mogul or another wheelum wheelum in the vernal and the roof of the mouth in the soft fleshy part of the roof of the mouth in on a wheel on the hard palate in the back clear okay now so, in the nera mug and then mogul over another on back of the tongue in the nera mogul over the bag on a wheel so they are articulated by raising the back of the tongue towards the soft palate back of the tongue in the nera mogul lilla soft palate telling wheel at the lake move in the summit produce in the sounds on a wheel of consonants and are put another and the sounds are k g ng Okay, if you pronounce, you can feel the movement. K, G, and N. This is the tongue and the back bag and the near mogalula, wheel at the lake, lingil, soft palate lake, move in. So, K, G, and N. Okay, this is how vela consonants are produced or pronounced. So, place or point of articulation based on the 8th category and vela consonants. Okay, then back of the tongue is moving against wheel up or soft palate a movement months like work okay so the next category is glottal or laryngeal consonants this is the last category i to wear another ninth category and here glottal is related to glottis laryngeal means larynx that is the larynx in a phonetic system the vocal quality where another larynx in the larynx in the little vocal cords load air pass in the summit on a vocal quality okay and you vocal cords in the day like gap in on a glottis and over in the space between vocal cords is called glottis okay for a glottis will articulate in the sound in a glottal or laryngeal sound and over in that is the classification that is glottal or laryngeal sounds are articulated in the glottis glottis will articulate in the sound in on glottal or laryngeal in the word and there is only one sound that is articulated in the glottis that is h english le h nalla sound maatrana e laryngeal alleng glottal consonant aite identify cheyapadunnathu that is h h ningal friends seyumbo thanne manasilo h nammude e larynx alleng glottis inde adilude aanu endu enne aa oru movement varunnathu h h okay so as in hen alleng horse house nu parna samayathu okku friends seyna this sound h h is the example of glottal or laryngeal consonants in english okay so these are the classifications of consonants based on the place or point of articulation the krithyamayittu manasilaka you can write it down in your notebook the examples and I hope you understand so we discuss the classification of consonants based on place or point of articulation place or point of articulation base it to the nine categories on a discuss it to the in a manner of articulation of the world in a state of glottis year to criteria which to the classifications were in the and we'll discuss this in the next session okay so Thank you for watching. Thank you.